Hi, Tony Donaldson here for ebikes.org. This is the Razor Rambler 20. 20 for the 20 inch wheels, even though they appear bigger because of the fact that they're four inch tires. But uh, this is a mini bike style bike, uh, similar to Super 73, Zuko. There are a bunch of other companies that have this style bike. What makes this unique is it's $1,000, $999 and it's pretty powerful. It's got a 500 watt uh, rear hub drive motor. Um, it has a, a throttle. Um, it has a very nice small display here. It's a, it's a good bike and it's a lot of fun. It has surprisingly short range. Um, they say it can get up to 16 miles and that's probably the least number of, uh, the, the least range I've ever heard of on any bike I've reviewed in a long time. Um, but the smaller battery and less efficient setup is part of why this is such an inexpensive bike. Um, reasonably well made, it's built like a tank, it's made of mild steel, not chromoly, uh, so it, uh, it, it, th those are the compromises that they've made, and that makes this bike a whopping 67 pounds. This is two pounds more than I'm supposed to have on my bike rack. So it's, it's a very heavy bike. It's very inconvenient to carry upstairs, uh, which I have to do. I live in an apartment. So uh, it's, it's a bit of a compromise with this bike. Uh, it has uh, mechanical disc brakes, which are decent, but uh, for this much weight, it could be a little bit better. It could be a little, uh, I, I would prefer hydraulic brakes on this. Um, because it's so big and so heavy and when it gets going 20 miles an hour it's kind of it's kind of up there the uh, the integrated lighting is very nice um, the tires glide over just about anything you can lower the pressure if you're gonna go out on dry sand for example um, and it, it performs pretty well there uh, it's overall it's a really fun bike and if you're looking for the mini bike style bike I think it's a it's a great choice um, the one thing that I wish one of these companies would do with this style of bike is instead of putting the battery here under the seat, put it down here and make it look like a Briggs & Stratton three and a half horsepower motor. Wouldn't that make sense? Anyway, let's go through a few more of the details. The Rambler 20 has a claimed top speed of 19.9 miles per hour. In practice, with a 165 pound rider, truly, it actually hit about 17 to 18 miles per hour with the throttle. It has a 220 pound maximum weight of rider plus cargo. The Rambler doesn't have an adjustable seat, so for my average height of 5 foot 8 inches, I still have to sit all the way back on the seat and even then still don't get full leg extension while pedaling. With the wide Q factor, pedaling is odd anyway, so most of the time you'll simply use the throttle because it's more fun. This bike has only a single speed. There are no gears to switch. For a better comparison, I put a five foot two inch test rider on the Rambler and she had plenty of room and could still touch the ground at stops. Their claim of a range of up to 16.6 .6 miles seems pretty accurate. The Rambler has no suspension, but the voluminous four inch tires do make the ride reasonably comfortable, even on poorer roads. The display is small, but easy to read. It has integrated lighting with a big bright headlight and taillight that also doubles as a brake light. All in all, though there were compromises made to make this bike cost a dollar under a grand, it's overall a really fun bike. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to catch our latest videos, and drop your comments below to tell us what you think.